streak of um, queer movement that's been happening on our campus in the past year. As of now, we have um, a CSULB queer studies minor, which is really exciting. And as of last semester, we have 11 gender neutral bathrooms and we're getting a new one next week. And um, I'm really excited for this to be the first event um, that we'll have on campus. Um, and I, I'm just so excited. So without further ado, Andrea Gibson. Hi everybody. I wish I was closer to you, so I wonder if we need to bring that down. I think we probably do. It's quite echoey. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm going to keep talking and we'll see what happens. Oh, that sounds better. Is that okay to you? Can you hear it okay? I'm wondering if it's going to echo if I get this close. Go closer. This close. Oh. It works. Hi. Hi. You all seem like you're so far away. Can you folks in the back hear me? You can. Okay, great. Thank you so much for coming, y'all. It's even sort of cool outside, and you always expect California to be... Not cool, well, <laughs> hip cool, but not, um, well, you know what I mean. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm going to read you some poems. I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> I just for a minute forgot, I, I, I was thinking that I was supposed to have squash with me up here. I don't know why, and I'm like, uh-oh, I lost my dog. <laughs> so this poem... Um, and this poem that I'm going to start with is a love poem that I wrote for my body. And uh, even if you don't write poetry, I really recommend trying it sometime. Writing a love poem for your body. I wrote this on uh, one of the hardest days of my life. I was feeling really, really terrible in my body. And uh, I, I, I wanted to figure out a way to become more of an ally to this, you know, little home I walk around in. So this, uh, this poem is called, I Sing the Body Electric especially when my power's out. Tell me, can you hear me better like this or this? This or this? Closer. Okay. I'll get sexy with a microphone. Yeah. All right. This is my body. I have weather veins. They are especially sensitive to dust storms and hurricanes. When I am nervous, my teeth chatter like a wheelbarrow collecting rain. I am rusty when I talk. It's the storm in me. The doctor said someday I might not be able to walk. It is in my blood like the iron. My mother is tough as nails. She held herself together the day she could no longer hold my knees. She said, our kneecaps are our prayer beds. Everyone can walk further on their kneecaps than they can on their feet. This is my heartbeat. Like yours, it is a hatchet. It can build a house or tear one down. My mouth is a fire escape. The words coming out cannot care that they are naked. There is something burning in here. When it burns, I hold my own shell to my ear. Listen for the parade. When I was seven, the man who played the bagpipes wore a skirt. He was from Scotland, so I wanted to move there. Wanted my spine to be the spine of an unpublished book. My faith, the first and last page. The day my ribcage became monkey bars for a girl. Hanging on my every word, they said, you are not allowed to love her. Try to take me by the throat to teach me I was not a boy. I had to unlearn their prison speak. Refuse to make wishes on the star on the sheriff's chest. I started wishing on the stars in the sky instead. I said to the sun, tell me about the Big Bang. The sun said, it hurts to be calm. I carry that hurt on the tip of my tongue and whisper, bless your heart every chance I get so my family tree can be sure I have not left. You did not have to leave to arrive. I am learning this slowly. So sometimes when I look in the mirror, my eyes still look like the holes in the shoes of the shoe shine man. Some days my hands are busy on the wrong thing. Some days I call my arms wings. Well, my head is in the clouds. It will take me a few more years to learn flying. It's not pushing away the ground, but safety isn't always safe. 
You can find one in every gun. I am aiming to do better. This is my body. My exhaust and pipe will never pass inspection. And still my lungs know how to breathe like a burning map. Every time I get lost behind the curtain of her hair. Find me by the window. Following my path to that trail of blood in the snow. The day I open my veins. The doctor who stitched me up asked me if I did it for retention. For the record, if you have ever done anything for attention, this poem is attention. Title it with your name. I will scour the city bridge every time you stand staring at the river. It never wants to find your body doing anything but loving what it loves. Love what you love. Say, this is my body. It is no one's but mine. This is my nervous system, my wanting blood, my half-tamed addictions, my tongue tied up like a ball of Christmas lights. If you put a star on the top of my tree, make sure it's a star that fell. Make sure it hit bottom like a tambourine. Cause all these words are just stories to the staircase to the top of my lungs where I sing what hurts and the echo comes back. Bless your heart. Bless your holy kneecaps. They are so smart. You are so full of rain. There is so much that is growing. Hallelujah to your weather veins. Hallelujah to the ache, to the pull, to the fall, to the pain. Hallelujah to the grace in the body and every cell of us all. Thank you.